Good morning. All right. So we've had a request on how to filter an object down to a more granular level in a drawing style. For example, I want to create a camera drawing in this case. And over here, I've got 4.6 bolts. And over here, I've got 8.8 .8 bolts. Now, in this particular case, I only want to show the 8.8 bolts. Or maybe I want to change the color of the 4.6 bolts versus the color of the 8.8 bolts. Um, so essentially, I wanted to filter the object based on a grade, not a particular model. Role. So how would we do that? Well, what we need to do is we need to create a, a model role specifically for bolts of a specific grade. So what I would do is, and I need to do this so that back in my drawing style, so if, for example, I've got here my um, model role uh, view here, right? So in this object presentation, you can see bolts and holes. They're visible, but they're all visible. And I may want to turn one of those off. So to do that, I need to make a duplicate entry of something similar to this so that only those elements show up correctly. And I do this by, in this case, you know, we could use um, bolts and holes, but I'm going to use just bolts. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to get rid of a prefix, 4.6, pick OK, and apply. Now at the moment, this object filter is filtering based on the object of bolt or model rolls. I need to then apply a filter, right? So in this particular case, I've already created a filter to filter out my bolts by a particular grade. And when I apply this, I can now use that in my drawing style. Okay, so let's have a look in a little more detail of how this filter actually ends up inside the product. So inside your ASTA details base, under DEET object qualifier filter, there is a series of records. And each one of these records is what you saw before inside of the um, drawing style engine, right? So you can see here in this case, my bolt underscore grade underscore four six is, or my check bolt 4.6 grade here, is this function. So this function basically says, check the element if it's a screw pattern, and then if the object grade is 4.6, return true, which then includes those elements as part of that filter. If the grade does not equal 4.6, it will not get included. Right, now how do we get this filter into our um, management tools to start with? Let's have a look at that next. So let's look at the function in a little bit more detail here. So this is the actual function that gets inserted into the database, which you saw before in the management tools, right? So here, basically, we're outlining the beginning and end of the function, defining a variable called B grade and setting it equal to false. We're then checking the object that was passed to the function to check to see if it's a screw bolt pattern. If it is, it then checks the material grade of that bolt. If it's equal to 4.6, it changes that variable to, of B grade to true. And at the end, it sets the return value for the function as either false or true, depending on what happens inside this if statement. Now, this function itself needs to be wrapped into an SQL statement to put it into the database. And however you want to put that in is really up to you. Um, so you can see here, for example, if I just hit enter here a few times, you can see if we expand this out, there we go. Right. So what we've got here is we've got insert into the database and we already know it's DEET object qualifier filter. We need to put in a key, which is that first line, a run name, which is the second line, the force evaluate on update zero or one. Um, script okay and that's where we've got all of that here and it's important to remember that the script needs to be wrapped 
inside these quotes, right? So that it knows that it's a function. You'll know if this does or doesn't work. When you go to insert, it'll fail. So just be careful. That's probably the only trap here is to making sure all this is wrapped properly. And then, of course, the last field, which is the owner text. But once you do this and you go back to advanced deal and you've done the insert, either using the SQL management tools, um, maybe using Visual Studio. When you come into here, we load the databases and we go and look for filter. Oops, if I spell it correctly, go to the details base. Here you can see, here is my entry into the database. And there is my function. Now, when it is in this environment, it is possible to just double click inside here and type extra bits and pieces. There's no problem in that. But getting the function, this whole thing originally into this list, it's much easier to do with SQL management tools using an insert statement or Visual Studio to get it into this space. Right, so how do we implement this? Well, let's go into our Drawing Style Manager. Let's have a look here. So what I've done is I've duplicated one of my drawing styles just because I'm going to modify something here. And I've implemented this filter that I created previously to say, turn those bolts off. I don't want to see those bolts in my uh, GA view. Now, I've turned the holes off here as well just so that I'm only left with the bolts that are not 4.6, right? So again, if you look back and expand out here in the bolt section, we had BO previously, which was just bolts by themselves. And then I created the, the duplicate of that called BO 4.6, which has that filter at the end of it to filter that view. In my camera, I've set the drawing style that I've created and when I go and run that drawing pick OK and then go and look at that drawing you can see I've done this a few times you can see we end up with the bolts on this side but not the bolts on that side right and the reason because that is is that these bolts here if I go and look at the properties of them they are 8.8 .8, whereas these ones here are 4.6 Hence the reason we um, filter those bolts.